last May. But in midfield and attack, there have been changes. Manfredonia, Mauro and the Dane Laudrup joined the club in the summer. Tardelli, the Pole Boniek and Rossi have departed. And in the 22nd minute of this quarter-final, they had to make a substitution with number 12, Passione, coming on in place of the injured Briaski. Terry Venables went into the match with five first-team players unavailable to him, including Bernd Schuster, said to be injured or not interested, depending on whose opinion you seek. But his gamble of playing the former Aberdeen and Tottenham player, Steve Archibald, has certainly been a good one. He's played very well in the first half, in which Juventus have been ahead in the tactical contest, although Barcelona ha have had very much more possession. And at the start of the second half, Barcelona have made another substitution, bringing on Manolo. This is Cabrini. And here's the Dane, Laudrup, wearing number 11. Satini. was a bit tight and Gerardo the second time I think used his hand it's Terry Venables and Alan Harris clearing out from the dugout and some instructions going out to Moratea so it looks as though we could have a third substitution in the match and the second for Barcelona the usual rules two allowed First chance that Platini has had. And the referee wanting play to continue. In spite of having his attention drawn, but his attention now has been drawn. And it looks like Carrasco who's going to go off. So on comes 27-year-old Moratella who came up from the junior side, run by Barcelona, Atletico. Cabrini takes it, and it was covered by Ruti, who wasn't too happy about the cover that he had in front of him. Goalkeeper got across. And his role in this contest has been very much to cover this right flank and prevent Julio Alberto getting forward Shirea has hardly had to break sweat to tell the truth Alessanko Victor fouled by Bonini Victor made his international debut against England back in the spring of 1981 at Wembley Julio Alberto. Martea. Archibald. Had to come a long way from his man, though. Pedraza. Amaria. Victor. And Archibald just couldn't get a touch which could have been so telling. Well, that's the best we've seen from the Spaniards. You can play, maybe judge that by the reaction of the crowd. Just look at Archibald. It was deep in the six-yard area, stuck out of foot, but just couldn't make contact. Cabrini. Patini. Those two will be at the World Cup Finals in Mexico for sure. And play with a man who almost got through then, Laudrup. Ball had to be held because the Dame was still offside. Here he is once more. Alessanko across. Tomorrow. Good play here by Juventus. Brio. Two came to him. And Mauro free. And Migueli. As Passione decided to head across instead of going for goal. 
given our view, I think he might well have gone straight for goal. But a good spell, that, by Juventus. And had Alessandro making a couple of last-ditch challenges. And they were certainly pulling the Barcelona defence across the field. What a poor pass. Here's Victor. Italians have all bar Michael Laudrup in a defensive position. Migueli. And Archibald. And Maria covered by Brio. Archibald. Good running out to the right by Archibald. Trying desperately to set up something for Amaria, but again it just doesn't come off in spite of his efforts. Mistake by Petini. Victor. Jockeyed away by Shirea. What a good player the Italian captain is. The Spaniards hugely outnumbered. Gerardo, Brio, Arasanko has scored seven times in the league this season, but still prepared to come forward then, Archibald gets the free kick, challenge from behind by Favaro. Tony Venables look in hope and in earnest. View looking down from behind Tacconi's goal. Pedraza is going to take it. And Barcelona have pushed seven players into the area. Well, as I say that, one of them comes out. Maybe in the end, Victor will take it. And Maria goes back to join a fairly loosely formed wall. And four mark three to the left of it. Pedrata did take it. And it was by Cabrini. Oh! Brilliant shot that got all the way through by Julio Alberto. And suddenly all the flags come out. Went through an absolute forest of legs all along the ground. And Terry Venable's side get a goal out of nothing. A pot shot that came off. Look how many legs it had to get through. And Tacconi was way on the right side of his goal. And it beat him on the left. The celebration is only water for the scorer. But there might be a few drinks of stronger stuff from many in the new Camp Stadium if they maintain this score. President in his box, Senor Nunes. Platini suddenly gets forward. As a firecracker goes off. The complexion of this first leg has totally changed. And the atmosphere in the stadium, as you can tell, quite different. Victor. Powered by Bonini. Just over a minute and a half left. But Mr. Fredrickson will certainly have a bit on his watch on top of that. Alessanko on the ball, number six. Amaria, good save. Sacconi did well to kill that. Gerardo. 
and the home crowd's appreciation of their team has been totally changed by the fact that they've scored. There'll be smiles in Las Ramblas tonight, but will Venables think that it's enough? Can his side defend well enough in the away leg in a fortnight's time? And the crowd a bit disappointed that the Barcelona are wasting time. Although it was clear from Venable's signal, the instruction was not to give away what they'd gained, to keep concentrating. And here's Amaria. He couldn't find a telling ball when Archibald was making the run in the six-yard box. But these are worrying moments from Trapattoni. I doubt if the referee will hear him from there. We're playing stoppage time. Amaria in the middle of the six-yard area. Migueli. Long hoof upfield. And it's Sanko. And stayed forward there. And Maria, free kick given. Juventus' his way. Platini in possession at the end. And the crowd stand to applaud a home victory. The only goal scored by Julio Alberto which gives Terry Venables Barcelona something to bite on in the return leg in a fortnight's time. <laughs>